Alrighty, well, morning everybody, and, uh-oh, encoding overloaded. Yeah, I kind of beat me to it, but, uh, um, yeah, it, it's, uh, once again, it's my cast, um, and, and, and also, like yesterday, I'm kind of doing this a little bit early, um, it's 10.57 p.m. right now, but because, um, I've got a fair amount going on on this cast, it's probably going to be a pretty big file size, so... It's gonna take a while in order to upload, so I kind of want to, kind of want to do this early to kind of compensate for it. But uh, let me go ahead and intro this music real quick. Um, uh, you guys might be familiar with this. Uh, one of my favorite channels, Iron Cthulhu Apocalypse. Uh, but uh, they got a new one out, and mainly on the strength of this cool as hell looking thumbnail. Yeah, I, if I can remember too, I'm making this in my uh, desktop background. Just see how, seeing how long that lasts. But anyway, um, this is going to be... It's going to be Plagues. Uh, single track for an hour. Uh, dark Ambient. So, let me go ahead and fire that up. And hey, it even says so. One track for an hour. So, I want to look at something here real quick. I forgot to do it earlier. No, unfortunately, nope. Too bad, I thought it'd be kind of cool as hell if it would, like, change colors. Well, it stays the same. Okay, so, well, let's get this started. Um, well, to start with, no stream. Uh, couldn't really get a stream going. Uh, just got up, started up, uh, Pinball FX3, but it ended up crashing, so... Usually when FX3 crashes, that means Arcade's going to crash. Killer Instinct is going to crash as well. So, um, I restarted, or reinstalled the, uh, the graphics card drivers. Restarted the computer. Normally this works. Uh, today was apparently an exception to that. So, I tried doing it like three times. Um, it still didn't work. Um, eventually, I just told all my regulars that, uh, just... Calling off the stream, not even worth it. Um, and I guess uh, four times the charm. Oh, 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 let me back up a bit. And um, I did spend a, a good chunk of the afternoon, early evening, trying to get this issue resolved. Um, I open up, I think it's called Windows Event Viewer, which uh, it it documents every serious thing that happened to your computer. Um, like all the crashes and stuff. Uh, looked it up. None of it really surprised me. Um, it all, it all pretty much pointed to, um, to basically a, basically a bad graphics card and, um, a bad power supply as well. Just, you know, cause the, um, you know, cause I got a, I got a better graphics card than what my computer can handle, so now my power supply has to work even hard, harder to, you know, maintain power throughout the entire computer, so, so that, it, that didn't really surprise me all that much, but it, it kind of goes back to what I was saying before in one of my other casts, I basically need a new computer. So it's, whoever, um, whoever built, whoever built this computer, um, I'm guessing this computer that I bought was a refurb, or it, it's kind of a, a custom built job, but all the components are just barely sufficient for each other to a point where, where the computer is basically unupgradable. You upgrade a part, it ends up putting too much pressure on the rest of your computer, causing them to falter. I think that's what happened to my computer. I upgraded the graphics card from a, from the two gigabyte one that was in there to a four gigabyte. Now it's creating problems on the rest of my computer, especially my power supply. So, and it, um, it all I also found out that I think uh, my power supply is one of the one of the reasons why my computer uh, reboots at random. So there is that as well. I'm gonna. I'm going to take a drink of some Arizona green tea. Hold on. Um, but, I mean, 
in case I didn't say a few minutes ago, but it seemed like four times was the charm. Um, made a few tweaks here and there, restarted my computer. Um, FX3 works, but by the by the time I actually got it to work, it was already uh, early to mid evening. I think it was like I think it was like five or six p.m. Uh, pretty much where it's it's not even worth playing since. Most of the time, I only like to play games when I can stream them. And uh, pinball is definitely an exam example of that. So, I think I just um, did some uh, matchup tables. Did my matchup league. And uh, it's slipping. So, it's not looking so good. So, if and when I can get FX3 up and running again, um, it looks like I'm probably going to be dropping down a league. So... Oh, and I also forgot to mention, too, usually if, if FX3 crashes, that means Arcade's going to crash and Killer Instinct is going to crash as well. And, um, oh, what was the other one? Oh, Demon's Tilt. That's, uh, Digital Pinball. Um, that's, uh, that's going to crash. And apparently, Dragon Ball Fighters, I tested it. It also crashes. But when that one crashes, I actually get a little pop-up saying... Some kind of fatal error with Unreal Engine. Um, I looked up the er it gave me the error code. I looked it up, and I think it was uh, it just pointed back to the same issue I've been having all along. So, uh, but otherwise, I think Gems of War works. Um, Fantasy Strike works. Um, Idol Champions of the Forgotten Realms. The Idol game, it works, but it flickers like crazy. I mean, it's like a, it's like a disco mod was added or something. So, but again, um, it basically all, it all centers around, it centers around me basically having to buy a better computer. Because, especially now, because like I said, it's, um, it's like I said a few minutes ago, it seems that the new graphics card is causing problems for the rest of my computer, especially my power supply. So, like I said, it looks, I probably could just simply replace the graphics card. I mean, there, I am, uh, one of my regulars, Kitaro87, found one for me. I found one myself. Um, I could probably get a new one for like two hundred dollars, but the thing of it is, is it's just gonna postpone the inevitable. It may not even fix the issue. It may not even fix the issue at all. So I just as soon as take that two hundred dollars that I would have spent on a new card and just put it towards getting a new computer. So. So, but otherwise, like I said, um, four times the charm. Um, I got FX3 to work, and I also uh, got Killer Instinct to work. Now, but uh, Killer Instinct, it's uh, it works only part of the time. It's very unstable. Um, I got it, I got it to work once, so I went ahead and uh, played it for a while. Um, I did a, I did survival mode, where you have to defeat as many opponents as possible until you're defeated yourself. Um, I just did a random select on it. The first time, I got Gargos, the big old tall demon. I think I might have did a demo, might have done a demo on him in one of my early, one of my more recent casts. Um, tried survival with him. It just wasn't working out. Just having too many problems with him. It just, yeah, not quite the right fit, even though, at least on paper, I kind of like him because he's almost like the druid. In World of Warcraft, he he does a little of everything. He can zone, he can grapple, um, he can do rush down, he can do he can do all sorts of air gymnastics and stuff. So, like I said, he's he does a little of everything, and he's a summoner. He can summon minions, so it's kind of a jack of all trades, but master and none. But when I actually when I actually play survival mode with them, it just I I couldn't make it. Work. So, yeah, despite all that, not quite the right fit for me. 
So I went ahead and did another survival mode, um, another random select, and this time Rash came up. Uh, you know, Battle Toads fame. And played him, and in fact, I kind of like him, and I read somewhere else too that he's considered one of the best characters in the game. He's like top tier. So, and I'm. And I can kind of, I can sort of kind of see why. Um, Ariel Rushdown, I mean, hell. Um, but yeah, not definitely not much of a zoner, but he's got Rushdown. He's pretty good in footsies. Um, but yeah, Rushdown and footsies. Specifically, Ariel Rushdown. And in fact, yeah, one of the most mobile and hard to pin down characters in the game. Um, in fact, I could probably go ahead and show that to you real quick. Now, once again, this, um, this might take a moment. Once again, um, this game is very unstable right now. So, don't be surprised if it crashes on me. But like I said, earlier today, I actually got it to work for about an hour or so. Then I just made the mistake of shutting it down. Just, I don't, I don't, I don't like leaving games up and running. You just... Like a waste of energy, but but um, Battle Maniac. That's one of the probably one of the reasons why he's such a popular character. I can just sit here and hit a either light punch or light kick repeatedly. Oh, that, and his his forward dash. Most other characters. Most other characters, they just basically hop forward a little bit. He he actually runs. And and I think uh, he's also the only character that can do this. You could actually do running attacks. So, he can actually do a full-blown combo. So, that's one big reason, I bet that's one big reason why he's such a popular character. Once again, um, I believe you guys can see Battle Maniac. You're just pushing Light Punch or Light Kick repeatedly. That's it. Forgot to mention too, um, down forward punch, and they both lead to combos. One's a short range, one's a medium range, long range. Whoop. One's long range, so. Uh, big bad. And as far as uh, motion inputs go, um, he's missing a down back punch, which can kind of create problems for me because um, sometimes I'll I'll go down back punch and then nothing comes out. So There we go. So you can go, you can go, you can go down, down forward light punch, down forward medium punch. And you can also go down forward heavy punch or tap forward twice and punch, heavy punch, like that. Then there is down forward kick. Um. Down, so down forward light kick down forward medium kick um and then as you can probably tell the light one 
It doesn't boot him up very high. Medium boots him up a little higher. Heavy kick. Boots him way on up there. And you also have Battering Ram. No, no, Wrecking Ball. Wrecking Ball, which can be done in the air. Down back kick. Down back medium kick. Down back heavy kick. And just like a lot of other moves in this game, um, <laughs> the, strength of the, the strength of the move just determines their range, power, but also its speed. Like, you know, bigger, stronger, rangier moves are going to be a lot slower to pull off. And they're a lot easier to counterattack, too. And then Wicked Tongue. This is probably another, definitely another reason why uh, this character is uh, considered top tier. You almost don't need to jump. Just, I'm pushing down L1 and then any eight directions. Like up, up you go. Or you could just. Yeah, you can't you can't hit with that tongue. And now that it and yeah, I forgot. Here, let me um. Rash automatically performs combos by mashing light punch or light kick. So, like I said, this is definitely one of the reasons why he's such a popular character. You don't have to be a you don't have to be a freaking genius in order to use him. Now, if you're up against an actual real life opponent, they already know this. So, this is kind of a downside of having such a high tier popular character. Everybody's already planning their own game plans around this guy. So. The moment they start seeing you doing a battle maniac on them, they're gonna counter you immediately. Combo break you, I mean. So. This excellent move right here. Um, this is medium kick. And it works from both sides. So this is great for... And, uh, I think I talked about this, about General Ram's ability yesterday. It's great for a cross-up attack. Just jump right over him. And your opponent won't know which way to block. Tor, if you could do your... If you could... If you could do a, a jump correctly enough to where you literally land right on top of your opponent. Your opponent ain't gonna know how to block. But like I said, this kick, medium kick, it's going in both directions.
Yeah. But on the other hand, the rest of his abilities... Yeah. See, that one only goes in front of him. <laughs> Rash bash. Hey, nuclear knuckles. Clear knuckles. So, but like I said, um, this guy's this guy's a top tier. Like he's again, sorry to sound like a broken record, but he's very popular, and there's a bunch of reasons why. Oh, Ultra, yeah, he can't he can't do fatalities. Damages the opponent. Try that one. <laughs> and there's the um. Some range in there. Oh, anti air. So, so I'm just gonna go ahead and um, I'm just gonna go ahead and call it good on that. Oh, I, I want to show this. I want to show this. So, but like I said, you can't you can't hit your opponent with the tongue. Flubbed up the buttons. Whoops. Whoops. Blew it out. So, like I said, you can hit your opponent with it, but your opponent can block it, though. So. What? Just wanted to go ahead and show that. Um, let me go ahead and, uh, let me go ahead and shut down the game. There it goes, there it goes. So, but yeah, um, but like I said, I did survival mode on Rash. Um, I think I got to like opponent 12 or 13 or something like that, but, uh, I had other, I had other shit, I, held, I had other shit I still had to get taken care of, so I had to call it good on that. Uh, I just went ahead and shut it down. So, um, one other thing I did though, uh, before I forget, um, there's, a. Uh, Something came up in my YouTube recommendations. Uh, uh, Steve Irwin, The Crocodile Hunter. Uh, it's a show that I hadn't... I mean, no, mind you, I haven't... I've never seen a full episode of Crocodile Hunter, just bits and pieces. But, yeah, the uh, documentary came up. I think it's about the... Where he checks out the... World's Most Poisonous Snakes or something like that. But, yeah, he just... Got to watch him do that. Just He just runs all ground by the tile and just flips him around and stuff, you know, he's, but watching him doing this, it, he kind of strikes me like the Bob Ross of nature. It just, he's, he's freaking great at it. I mean, he's like doing the same thing with the crocodiles too, and he's, it's kind of hard to, kind of hard to explain just the way he carries himself and stuff. So, yeah, I've just been uh, watching that documentary. Um, and I think it's one of his earlier ones, uh, the ones where, it, where it was just him, like, before his wife decided to enter the picture, and it just, it kind of, it kind of drug the episodes down, like, 
I just want to watch him. I don't really care for his wife being in there, like, giving, like, animal descriptions or whatever. But, like I said, back in the day when he was still alive, um, the, the little bits and pieces that I watched of him, it just, his, his wife kind of, kind of got in the way. At least that was my impression. I mean, I just wanted to see him hunting crocodiles. Oh, and to rewind a little bit, um, I did play some Gems of War, but like yesterday, I only played maybe like 10, 15 minutes, just did a few PvP, a few PvP battles, and then just called it good. So. But to kind of go, to go back to Crocodile Hunter, um, like I said, he just, he just, oh, the, the whole, the whole, I got this, no problem, aura that they all have. You know, just confidence, I think that's the word I'm looking for. Bob Ross kind of has that too. You know, I, I almost want to say that those two have, you know, they got Dunning-Kruger issues, you know. Well, I'll tell you that in my automobiles for anyone else, but no. <laughs> you know, they're kind of, to kind of underestimate their abilities or something like that. I, I, I'm I, really not in the mood to go chase down the technical term for Dunning-Kruger, but it's like the first thing that comes to mind. Well, it's easy for me. It ought to be easy for anyone else. You know, but I'm going to take another drink here. But, otherwise, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and call it good. Um, I think I've said all the things that I wanted to say this morning. So, or, technically it's not this morning. I'll just, I'll, I'll be upfront about it. But like I said, uh, by the time I get this all uh, uploaded and everything, it's going to be past midnight. So, like, it's, it's going to be a fairly, uh, a fairly, uh, fairly big file size. So it's going to take a long time to upload. But otherwise, hey, thanks for uh, tuning in and listening to me, though, everybody. I appreciate that. And um, this will be my last cast for the week. So um, Thursday and Friday, um, I'll, that's my work week. Uh, I was off last night. I actually requested it and got it. So, And then um, once again, uh, Saturday, this coming Saturday, there's probably not going to be a stream because uh, I got family stuff I have to do, so... Got a party I got to attend. So. But until then, though, everybody, thanks again for coming by and see you all next time. Bye for now.